Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and Spiritual Tro. We're going to go ahead and do an energy um, reading, which I already know I did one this week, but there's a lot of Sagittarius out there and I'm called to do another one. So, where you're going to get your energy, the energy of Sagittarius, energy of someone connected to Sagittarius at this time, as well as the possible outcomes and some guidance or advice. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. We're going to get, what is your current energy, Sagittarius? What's the energy you are sitting in? And before we start, I just want to say thank you, Spirit, for these messages and guidance. Let's go ahead and start. What is your energy, Sag? These cards, I wish they'd, like, stop being so stiff. <laughs> okay. Energy of Sagittarius at this time. Energy of Sagittarius. What is your energy, Sag? Let's see. Okay. Oh. Worried, ang anxious, sleepless nights. What's going on with you, Sag? What is going on? Some healing being needed. Um, something you were hoping for or wished for is not coming true. It's keeping you anxious and worried, huh? Ooh. Well, none of them turned up upright, so we're not going to keep it. What else energy is Sagittarius sitting in at this current time? What's the energy of Sagittarius? Okay. Some emotional disappointment. Something maybe you were like in a dream state about, like giddy over uh, whatever it was you were wishing for. It didn't pan out. You're like really anxious and worried about it, whatever it is. Something you've been dreaming about, some opportunity or choice that you had available was disappointing your wishes weren't fulfilled and it's keeping you very worried and anxious maybe some sleepless nights okay so we're going to go ahead and get some energy of someone around you the current person in Sagittarius' life what's their energy please what's their energy at this current time all right energy of someone in your life Okay, so we have, they could be making a choice after some struggling with it to decide. So someone around you has made a choice, um, but it took some time. They were really struggling with it, making this choice. Maybe that's what you're anxious about or worried about. Maybe it disappointed you that they chose that. It's some kind of completion for them, though. Some completion. They finally completed something by making this decision, but it wasn't easy for them. And somehow it's disappointed you, caused you some anxiety and worry. So it's something for their stability. Um, this is usually a positive card, but it also can be if you hold on too tightly or get in a greed kind of mode. This is this person's energy. It could cause some stress as well. But they have made a choice and it's kind of complete now. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and get some possible outcomes here. Possible outcomes. What's the possible outcome for this situation or for Sagittarius and this person? I think one just flipped over. So, fulfilling. It's com contentness. So, the possible outcome is that it can be a rewarding decision or situation. That's the possible outcome. I'm getting that it's like a perspective. The way you look at it can be very, ooh, or can be a betrayal. So, this is like the flip side of the coin. It can either be the possible outcome, contentness, peace, or it can feel like a stab in the back. Interesting. So let's see if there's anything else coming up with the possible outcome. I'm really getting it's like a matter of perspective of how you look at it. Um, if this person made a choice that you're not happy with, um, it could feel like a betrayal to you. But then if you look at it, maybe it's the best thing in their life. Also, it could be this is feeling like a betrayal to you. And to them, it's contentness. makes them happy. It's like a flip side of that coin. Yeah. You know, someone here is resisting taking a risk or starting a new journey. So... That's another possibility. Somebody is not taking that risk or taking that new journey forward. 
but somebody else is moving on. Oh my gosh, look, I really get like, somebody's moving on to their content and happiness and their peace. Someone feels betrayed and they're not moving forward. So however that resonates, somebody could have got a promotion and moving on and you're not going or something like that. I don't know. This choice this person made has left you feeling kind of betrayed and kind of stopped your journey. And now feeling restricted, having to go within and uh, tap into, you know, your intentions, your priorities, your your spirituality, your uh, intuition, um, really reevaluating your life. This could have been a, like a really good soulmate, like a soul union. But there is happiness here. There is happiness. I'm really getting like two kind of possible scenarios. And it could be you and that person's scenarios. But again, energy can be changed. Remember that. We, we have free will and we can change the energy. That is a possible outcome. So now let's go ahead and get some advice. Advice for Sagittarius in this person or the situation. Advice, please. Let's get some advice for you, Sagittarius. Goodness. <laughs> okay. You know, don't do anything manipulating to keep this person held back or to go along with you. That's never a good thing. It always is going to backfire, you know? We can't control other people or their life, right? So if you're thinking about doing something tricky... You know, this is a, this is just an example. You know, like some of those women that pretend like they're pregnant or get pregnant to, to trap the guy. Uh, that's just an example. I'm not saying that's the norm, but don't do anything mischievous, tricky, manipulating to get the person to go along with your way. Okay, that never works. You know, work on your abundance, your manifestation. Get your life together so you can have this ten of pentacles in your life. You know, that's what you need to be focused on, not what this person's doing, right? We have to have, be happy within ourselves first. Stay confident, secure, go after what you want, be the strong, independent type of queen. That's where you're being asked to go towards. Anything else for advice, please, Spirit? Any other advice, please? Yeah, it's and easier said than done, but stop worrying. Stop being over anxious about the situation. It is what it is, unfortunately, right? There's nothing we can do about certain situations or what other people do. It's just going to keep you up at night and keep you in that nightmarish state, right? And um, unhappy. So these words are all mental energy, so our thoughts make our reality. It's time to let go of these worries and anxiety, okay? I know it's easier said than done, but it can be done. So, anything else, Spirit? Any other advice for Sagittarius? Go towards your truth. Be your authentic self. You know, gain the wisdom that you need to move on. All right? So, that looks like it's your message. I hope you have a beautiful week. Um, just remember, we can't control other people, and manipulating them is always going to backfire us on us. We don't want to hold on to somebody that, that, that wants to move on, right? That's not a good thing. So that's your message, Sag. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.